Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to uh, warm Chicago. I'm here with my buddy uh, Dave and Marshall. We're gonna go pick up Marshall now. We are heading to a auction up in northern Wisconsin today. A lot of 58 convertibles, hard tops, a 59 Cadillac convertible and a Cadillac hardtop. Just tough cars to find, continental kits, rare parts. So gonna go check a lot of stuff out. Today is the preview day. I think this thing ends on Tuesday. So this is a recap of the auction. But with that being said, I brought the uh, truck and trailer today. I dropped off the 65C10 last night to the buyer. Um, super cool guy, one of our friends. So he was really happy with it. We sat around, drank some beers with him. And uh, now that it's the next day, I'm waiting on Dave to uh, get, out of, get out of the shower here, get dressed, and uh, we'll hit the road. I also want to give a shout out to Brunt Workwear. They sent me these Torah khakis. I don't know if you guys can see them that well or not. And these are by far the most comfortable pair of khakis that I've ever had. And I know you guys are going to say, well, you're the khaki king, so you must know khakis, and I sure do. Um, I spilled a little bit of Gatorade on them yesterday, and you know, it didn't really stain them that bad. It actually wiped off for about five seconds there. So pretty durable, um, very, very comfortable, and they're just made to last. So if you guys want to get a pair yourself, I'll put a link down below. Um, thank you to Brunt for sending me these. I love these things. I'm gonna get a couple more pairs and throw my old ones away. So with that being said, thanks again to Brunt. Let's get on the road and check out some 58s. All right, so we're here today at the auction. Got a lot of really rare stuff. Uh, this is the one oddball of the group. It's a Lincoln Mark IV two-door coupe. Or Lincoln Continental Mark IV, I should say. Nice car, but what we're here today is the, the Impalas and the, the 58s, 59s. So the first one here is a red gut. It's painted orange, but I think it was a, a red car originally. You can see there with the door jams, so red on red. Factory air car. The outer vents are 58 only. The interior middle vent is 58, 59. It's all there, it's pretty rough. Definitely the most restorable one out of the bunch, though. Next one's a frost blue. 58 to the hard top. This one's a parts car. A lot of stuff missing, the floors are out of it. Steering column, steering wheel, all that good stuff. No motor, no trans in this one. Third tower hard top here is white with a turquoise guts. This one probably could be fixed. It's full of a ton of parts, ton of parts. 59 steering wheel. Nice body with this blue one is pretty rough. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Six fifty eight sitting here. So here's that third hard top body. Decent builder car. Fourth hard top here. No VIN tag, unfortunately. It's got a 348 in it. Motor is not stuck, it does turn. It's got the old school big tires on it. Bucket seats, four speed column, redone black seat. Just sucks the VIN fell off of it, so it's a parts car. And we got the first of three 58 convertibles. This is the second roughest of the bunch. It's all there. Uh, the floors are starting to go in it. Vin tag in place. Rear seat's there. Missing one piece of uh, snap trim. 
trunklet is there. All right, the rarest car of the bunch here. It's 1959 Cadillac. El Dorado Seville. Original paint. Original interior. It's a California black plate car. It's got an Autronic eye. And power windows. Power vent windows and power locks. Six way power seat. Air lift, which is level air suspension. Up here on the motor, the compressor is still intact. Very, very tough piece to get right there. Tri power engine. Factory AC stuff right there. Here's the air tank. Another hard piece to get. That's a two door El Dorado. Seville, the Seville has this trim. So next to that is a 59 Cadillac convertible, original paint, original top. Trunk has some scale. Hell of a nice survivor car. No electronic eye in this one. No cruise control, but it does have power windows, but manual cranks. Six way power seat and dual spotlights there and there. Here's a third 59 Cadillac. It's a Sedan DeVille. Original paint, original interior. However, the roof has had something jumping on it. So the roof would definitely need replaced. Real nice interior. Big old fins. All right, more T1, let's look at these frames. Pretty nice, this one's got a flathead tri-power in it. It's off like a 30s Model A possibly. Same thing over here, nice frame. It's got a Buick nail head in it though. Got some miscellaneous rear ends here. Thirty-five Ford. No interior. Flathead V eight. Beautiful car. <laughs> Sit next to that's a Cabriolet. Looks like an older restoration with the rumble seat. Here's all in it. We have an original paint, 66 Impala Super Sport, 327 with factory air. 
and power steering and power brakes. Looks like the two front seats have covers on them. Automatic on the floor. Looks to be original paint or original interior on the back. Nice body though. Got a 58 Fury Christine car. Very nice restorable example of a of a Fury. Big old fins, all that chrome and trim is still still present. Let's see what's in the trunk. Just a bunch of hubcaps. Hell of a nice car. Got a Ford truck right here. It's a 1950 model, flathead V8. I'm not sure what this car is, to be honest with you. Uh, 42 Ford, flathead V8, original interior. What is this, a 50 Merc, Marshall? Yep, 1950 Merc with parts car. And the parts car has got an old school 348 tri-power and flames. Wicked old school custom. Up next we have Marshall's 1959 El Camino clone right here. Roman red paint. Small block, two barrel. Oh, here we go. Dave's, Dave's getting loud. He's got the coffin rail accessories. That's what these are called, coffin rails. Nice gray interior. It's got 60 Impala dash trim on it. This one's been restored at one point. Door's shut nice. This is, I think, the fifth or sixth hard top. It's got a 348 in it. This motor is stuck. Tires are flat. But it's fairly complete. Nice blue interior. Speaker grill in the back. All chrome is there. This one's missing the bumper. Yeah, no bumper on this one. Then we have the nicest of the three convertibles. Original paint, black top. Red gut car. It needs floors. However, it's a 58 Impala convertible, so it's definitely gonna be fixed. Side looks pretty straight. There's the missing part of the seat. The interior, it's all there. And then the third convertible. This one's probably the roughest one, just in terms of the floors. The floors are totally out of it. But the trunk lid's there, the snap trim is there. It's got a green fender on it. But the coolest part is these old school Valvoline racing oil stickers. I love those. Beautifully restored 36 coupe. Hey, 
Beautiful interior. Multicolored uh, seat cover. All restored. And the last one is uh, two-tone, two 1958, Palo Tudor. In line six in this car. And to finish it off, all these motors. All right, guys, so a few pieces of business before we get to the auction results. Um, the first piece of business is the cat wants to be on camera, don't you, buddy? Yeah, he's very photogenic. Okay, so first piece of business, actual first piece of business, is this 307 and Power Glide is going into the 64 Impala this weekend. Might film this, might not, depending on how fun it goes. Uh, we'll see on that. Um, Chad, I know if you're watching this video, I have not forgotten about the 59. Um, it is stuck pretty good. I tried to, to free it up a little bit last week and it's still stuck, so I got it soaking uh, for some more time here. But we will get back on that. Hopefully about, uh, about two more weeks we'll let that thing soak. The big piece of business though is I've got my two four post lifts finally set up. I've got the old 98 and my 59 two door Brookwood on the one. And then on the other, I've got the 68 LeSabre convertible and my pink 59 Impala two door hardtop. So with that being said, we have so much more room for activities now, but the two 59s up top are just killer. And the, I guess, 159 and 68 on the bottom. Just a nice combination here. This one, all the locks work. This one, uh, the two do not. So when this video is done, I'm gonna roll the, the 59 back out um, until we get that situated, just a little bit of adjustment. Not too bad there, but uh, I don't wanna have something under it until the locks are fully, fully in place. So just wanted to kind of show you guys this for the video. But you guys will probably see more ski repairs video on a second channel this week. Um, we did what we could on the cars. We bid a lot more than we probably should have on the cars. And at the last minute, they went crazy. Um, the video prior to this, or I guess the clip prior to this, it cut out pretty abruptly. I had about 15 to 20 minutes worth of content um, that the audio did not pick up whatsoever. Um, this little microphone is awesome to have, but it doesn't always, I don't know, relay the sound to the master switch. So lost a lot of content there. So I'm sorry about that, you guys. It was an awesome auction. I mean, the Seville, less than a thousand of them made. The Cadillac convertible, uh, 358 convertibles, and six hard tops, I believe. I mean. You won't see another auction like that in, I don't know, five, 10 years. I mean, that was pretty, pretty special auction. I'm glad I went and looked at it. I'm glad I tried to buy some stuff, but at the end of the day, I'm not gonna get carried away. I do this as a business. I buy, sell, trade, and if I can't advance it for a profit, there's no sense in just getting carried away. So with that being said, you guys, I'm not selling these cars. I guess I am selling the Olds and the, and the Buick, but the 259s aren't for sale. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed going to look at the cars, I love seeing that Seville. I wish that I had a Seville, but I'm not gonna pay up what, what, they, what they sell for. They're cool cars, but you know, when you're paying $30,000 for a project for a hard top, it just uh, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. Uh, let me know your favorite car out of the bunch. Mine is the Seville hard top, I love that car. Awesome color, it's Persian sand. Um, and it was loaded. I mean, just a rare, rare, rare car, and that was my favorite, but let me know what you guys think as well. And if you're brand new, make sure to subscribe as we have lots of projects going on, lots of auctions, lots of junkyards, and you'll never know what you're gonna see on this channel. So with that being said, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the preview. My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars, and I will catch you guys next time.